Welcome to another installation video, this time featuring the Advanced Combat Tracker WebSocket and its skill display that you can see inside of my power test videos. For example, that will show you the rotation and um, all the skills that you're actually using. So as this is quite a difficult topic um, and I need to run into some troubleshooting manners and um, give you some tips on, on a yeah, in spontaneous matter, uh, please apologize that I'm trying to do this as fluent as possible without any big script. Um, yeah, let's get through this together and I hope we can uh, get you into the ins installation process and make this thing running onto your computer as well. Okay, note that this cannot be done on PlayStation, so um, yeah, on PlayStation you don't have access to any plugins or advanced combat tracker and advanced combat tracker is the prerequisite to this and without ACT you cannot run this. Um, yeah, and this brings us to the another uh, disclaimer. Like always, Advanced Combat Tracker being a third-party software is technically not allowed to use and you could get banned for this, but I personally haven't experienced anything like that, so um, I would not consider to, to, to uh, worry about that as long as you're not harming other players' experience and, and yeah, enjoy enjoyable moments and comfort inside the game with the data you receive out of Advanced Combat Tracker. Okay, so let's get into the subject. First, you need to make sure where your Advanced Combat Tracker is installed and um, yeah, look up where the Advanced Combat Tracker folder is um, yeah, placed in your um, PC directory. So um, in my case, we just made some shortcuts to, to make this running. Um, for displaying this as best as possible. And then if you made that sure, then we will head into the browser. Okay, now something very important because I haven't get the other link running. So um, let's get the safe way and try to do this um, as, as comprehensive and as uh, straightforward as possible. Therefore we are yeah, specifying this in the latest release version. Um, therefore, we will be navigated to this one here. And I will also put this into the description, of course, but if you want to look it up manually um, and don't trust any links put into any descriptions, then I will um, highly recommend to, to use this um, description here. Then you will head into the Releases tab and uh, navigate to the newest ACT WebSocket that is displayed here and download the zip file. Uh, this will be saved and then you head to your download folder because this is another troubleshooting avoidance uh, measure. So um, right click on that extracted file zip folder um, onto properties and check this unblock box. This is very important for not having troubles and issues with your firewall or uh, any data transfer or anything like that. Um, click on apply and OK and then we will extract the files uh, through 7-zip or any any data extraction software that you may use. It's completely up to you here. Then you will extract the files and choose the directory where your advanced comet tracker is um, placed and installed. So in my case it's backup C because I wiped my PC on that uh, date here. Then onto desktop and ACT. You don't need to head into these folders, just the advanced combat tracker folder where your advanced combat tracker itself is installed. Um, yeah, just click OK. Um, and OK another time. Then we will close everything. Uh, and now, before running the advanced combat tracker itself, just make sure that you will always um, run this as an administrator under. Uh, right-clicking the properties of the X file and the compa compatibility tab and check the box run this program as an administrator to make sure that this will also and always run as an administrator and will always ask you for uh, the permission rights. Okay, starting advanced combat tracker. Yes, of course, otherwise we cannot proceed onwards here. And then we are heading into the plug-in section. Here we are just um, getting displayed what we already installed and anything, everything that is already running um, that you can also see by uh, the overlay that is running for our combat tracking. Um, then we browse to the WebSocket. So this should be the last um, file that you navigated to. 
So we're heading to the advanced combat tracker, combat tracker directory. And for the advanced combat tracker websocket that we, um, yeah, just now uh, extracted. Then to the advanced combat tracker websocket DLL. This is the, the file that we're looking for. And we just want to double click this and add enable plugin. This will put this advanced combat tracker websocket into our uh, collection of, of plugins that are running on our advanced combat tracker. Then we navigate towards the tabs here to the advanced combat tracker websocket. And here's something uh, that I need to explain because um, the time you're you're starting this and have already installed this first uh, single time uh, without wiping your whole PC, they will um, save all the the links and and connections into something in your in your backbone of your computer. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but um, yeah, even if you delete the advanced combat tracker websocket, it will still have the information that they need to 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 make this running here. Okay, so. You won't have the skill display here, so therefore we need a link. That is the skill display itself. Then we get go to Google again. This will also be into in the description of the video, and we uh, just put in their skill display Final Fantasy XIV, for example. Um, this is another one here. This could also be used and is quite uh, installed very easily, but I don't like the overall design of it. But uh, you should definitely check this out. Um, it looks nice as well. Uh, it's quite simple, but um, you always have this um, bar running. And I don't like this animation of, of the bar running in, in the background. So yeah, I, I had for the Rawrington skill display um, that I'm also using in my power test videos, for example, or the rotation videos or whatever uh, is featured with rotations. Um, therefore, we are just heading um, for this link and we only want this link here that we now are copying into our into our shortcut here and then we navigate back to the advanced combat tracker and click on the add URL and just by doing this we will have this, this skill display being displayed here. Um, now to the troubleshooting part. Uh, there are some yeah short issues that could run that you could run into so I highly recommend to to make all the steps that I'm doing now um, to to make sure that you're running into no issue first just check this box here use using before log line reading this is a recommendation from the creator itself so we're just doing that um, and always make sure to head onto the server status and click on this button on the on button because otherwise it won't connect you to the server and won't let you let your IP host the the actual skill display plugin um, which is yeah a prerequisite to this okay then we will head into the direct X base tab I don't know if this is necessary but yeah just just do it just um, follow on this step if you have any issues just do it just do it but therefore, you need to browse your game path. Um, as you can see here, for example, it's C Games, Square Enix, Final Fantasy, uh, and head for the Final Fantasy 11 DirectX 11.x. This one you will need, and then click on the install. Then it will, yeah, just tr um, combine that DirectX-based overlay. I don't know if we're actually running on that DirectX-based overlay, but um, <laughs> it's running like in the way I, I did this, so maybe we're just doing and following on the steps to avoid any trouble. Okay, then we're heading towards that X65 QT5.12.2. Uh, um, yeah, then you will download this. This is another file that will connect to the, to the web socket. Okay, and then we're just heading into our game and see if this is running. Therefore, yeah, as you can see, we're not having anything displayed. So we need to, to uh, make some more steps here. Back to the advanced combat tracker. Um, and we need to start and stop the overlay proc that will actually um, push all that information and, and try to connect the server to this 
URL that you have displayed and, and, and uh, linked there. Then you will double click on that skill display and if everything is fine, you will have these three lines here. This shows that everything is running to the point, yeah, you need to configure it maybe for uh, getting a bigger screen or anything like that. But at this point you can see it's running and this is the most important thing. Um, yeah, to make this running inside of the game, I literally wasted hours to, to, to make this on the first run um, because yeah, if you just hit the, the, the dummy here and um, as you can see it, it won't display anything. That is something, I don't know how this works, but it, it seems like it's recollecting data um, at the point when you're switching areas. So therefore to make this running for the first time you're using this on the day you want to use it, you need to switch the area and we need to... <laughs> run away from the dummy because we dotted it. That was a bad decision here. <laughs> Keeps us in combat. Okay, <clears throat> now let's move back to the lavender bats or anything, any anywhere where you want to port. Okay, and as you can see, this already um, changed something and we can see the current rotation dis being displayed here. And now it shows that it's running without any issues. We can show it and um, demonstrate that by just hitting that dummy here. And something I really like about that skill display is that it will divide your uh, GCDs and OGCDs and make the OGCDs a bit smaller and everything like that. And it's it's running very smoothly that you can also um, customize later on. Okay, so next up the customization part. Okay, so much for the installation. Let's head into the customization, which is very important, I think, at least for for getting a good size of this uh, plugin. Otherwise, you cannot actually see your job icons. Therefore, head to the Advanced Combat Tracker app again and open up the manager, which is always something when you want to change anything on the skill display, uh, you need to open up this overlay proc manager. Therefore, you have many options here to, to zoom your your job icons, therefore I highly recommend to just smash in some rotation buttons in there before doing this, uh, otherwise you won't see the the full value of this and you cannot actually change anything that is not displayed. So therefore we are heading the tab and opening the tab current rotation, so we s we're seeing we have quite a good space here and um, the zoom feature here allows us to increase or decrease the size of our job actions and they are quite in a good resolution I think. So um, yeah, for your own desire I really like something about 0 0.80, 0 0.90 which is uh, showing many skills and still not yeah, <laughs> blocking all your space of the screen. Um, you could also change the opacity so that this is more transparent, but um, yeah, I think the the 1.0 is is quite something uh, you don't have any issues with because in the standard UI the the background is also transparent. Okay, uh, to the more advanced feature here, we need to head into the preference set. So therefore, we need to uncheck these again, um, draggable as well. And if you want to customize this by putting in your own picture, the background picture, which I really like. And I always like to have the same background picture for my advanced combat tracker itself and the skill display. Therefore, we head to the image URL and you need to make a URL with any of your URL creating web pages that um, you can upload any picture to and create a link to make yeah this, this picture. I just uh, took the Advanced Combat Tracker uh, picture here, just open up this notepad and copy the link and close it again and put it in here. Then I will click on to apply and as you can see at this moment um, we're having the, the background already but we're not having that at the, yeah, at a good spot. So this is the whole image and as you can see we're um, only using the left side of it. It's quite a nice color and you could use this but I uh, highly recommend to change the position of it. So if you want this 
as a whole, just click onto the image size here and choose the cover version, then um, you will have the, the whole picture here. Yeah, this is something, that looks nice. Yeah, that looks very nice. The, with the burning smoke in the background um, and nothing to, to interact uh, in a negative way with your rotation being displayed. Okay, so this should be a good solution, I think. And um, to make this, yeah, to, to hide this when you're not using um, Final Fantasy and, and just browsing on the web and, um, yeah, just doing something on your desktop, um, you need to check this box auto hide and then you need to put the X Final Fantasy X into this box. How do we find this? You could open up the task manager and, and read all this, but yeah, as we did this before, just um, for our troubleshooting part, head into the direct X based thing here and just copy the last part after the last backslash Final Fantasy 14 um, DX11X and copy that, put it into here, into this box and add. And as you can see now, this will hide the display as you're not having the focus on Final Fantasy. So when I'm switching to the desktop, it will also um, hide the skill display. Uh, if you haven't got this running for the advanced combat tracker itself, therefore you need to head into the overlay plugin um, and just click on this box here automatically hide overlays. It, this will also hide your overlay as long as you're not having the focus on Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, you can easily customize this to your own um, preference and put this to the spot where you think it's it's fitting. Um, maybe some sort of lining up with your, with your interface here and um, still having quite a nice nice display of all the skills here. Um, you could also put a third line into this by, by just putting it more um, yeah, upwards, but yeah. You could figure out for yourself what the perfect spot and size is for this display, but I think this looks lo a bit like in my power test videos. I haven't configured this um, one to one, but uh, yeah, some sort of looks like that. We can test this in an actual fight that will display the the hierarchy of skills here and as you can see everything is displayed and um, lined up perfectly and yeah works very smoothly okay yeah therefore thanks for watching I hope I could help you with this and it's quite a bit more complicated than the um, advanced combat tracker installation itself but um, yeah I hope that I could help you get this running um, if you have any problems with the installation part um, try to, to all, do all the troubleshooting steps, um, try to disable your firewall for the moment you're installing this, um, maybe just reopen the, the program, the, the advanced combat tracker, um, try to restart Final Fantasy and the most important thing, if you haven't got any information like yeah, current rotation being displayed, then you definitely just need to switch areas. That is very important, otherwise it won't reload the actual skill display um, yeah, and make it visible. Thanks for watching, I hope I could help you and um, yeah, see you in another video or on Twitch. Until next time, take care and keep loving Final Fantasy.